Today we have black cherry. This comes to us from Louie at Spindle's Workshop. And I'm so looking forward to turning it. The bark is nice and tight. It does have one little defect that we'll have to deal with. We'll figure that out as we go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, as we like to say here at Shady Acres Woodshop. Howdy, let's take a closer look at it. Piece is about eight inches long, about seven inches wide. And then if you include this part, it's about nine inches wide. It's uh, four inches tall on that end and three inches on this end. Now the bottom is not cut flat and that's what accounts for that difference in height. So when I drill for my woodworm screw, I'll shim this up this way so that when I work on the bottom, I'll turn away the thick part down here. So that should bring it closer to the thickness of this end. There's the defect. It only goes about a half an inch deep, maybe a little bit more. I'd like to save this part of the crotch but because that defect is where it is, the more I turn away from this side to save that side, the closer I get to the defect. So I could try and fill it, but it's full of wax from the coating on the wood, so nothing's gonna stick and I'd never get that wax out of there. I thought I might fill it with uh, CA and coffee grounds before I get started, but nothing's gonna stick to the wax, so I'm gonna have to deal with it after we've done some turning on it. If we even get into that part. Now we might not get into that part. Uh, because I'm going to be leveling off the bottom, I can just bring the bottom up higher. And where it's three inches on this end and four inches on that end, we might end up with, say, two and a half inches or so. And, and that's okay. That's okay. Two and a half inch deep bowl instead of three inches. We're just, we're just going to deal with it. It'll be a live edge turning, so of course this will be the top. And I'm going to take this over here to the drill press, drill a flat spot for my woodworm screw somewhere here in the middle or wherever I decide is best. And we'll get it mounted up and get to turning. Well, I hope I'm not sorry about this. I'm going to flatten the bottom off first. I'm just afraid of peeling that bark off. It, it is very tight, but you know, stuff, stuff happens. But there's such a big difference between over here and over here. Uh, if I don't do that, I'm just going to have a hard time rounding it up on this corner over here. So I'm going to flatten it off first. We're going to be turning out. I have no idea. Forgot to check. 550. 5 8 inch bowl gouge, mask, and face shield on. That's a lot more shallow now. It does go back up in there this way though. You can't see it, but it goes back up this way. We might have a hole in the side of our bowl. I don't know. I am going to be turning a lot of this away. All right, just a little bit more. As long as we're here, we might as well mark out for a tenon, or maybe a recess. Now I think I might like a recess better, but in any event, I'm going to come over here to the corner and start working. And for that, I'm going to put a glove on. And I'm going to work from the top down to keep the bark on.
And even though I started super sharp, I'm going to go sharpen up again. This wood's pretty hard. Okay, let's come down here and put in a recess. I picked the speed up to 850. Now I'm going to switch to this recess tool to put a dovetail on the inside here. Good. Now we don't need a base anywhere near this wide, so I'm going to come back here and work it down a little bit. I'm going to do that with a half inch gouge. Perfect. Time for sanding. I took some denatured alcohol and a brush and cleaned all the wax out of here. I think I got it all. Now I'm going to use my Sandoflex to sand in there. And then I'll use this to sand the top bark area as well. When I'm done with that, I'll have the lathe spinning in reverse at 350. Starting at 80 grit, working up through 400. And I'll show you what both of those look like as soon as I get my mask on. I'll do a little bit more of that, but that's what it looks like. And that's what that looks like. I'll bring you back here in a bit and we'll put some sanding sealer on there. See you in a bit. Boy, this sure did sand up nice. Super smooth. This is a shellac based sanding sealer that I'm applying. I'll put on two coats of this, although it really only needs one because it's so smooth. But two coats and then two coats of shellac over that. And I gotta hurry because it's getting late and I'm missing my Saturday night show. On Patrol Live, it's my guilty pleasure. I can't help it. I love it. It's on Friday and Saturday nights. I didn't realize it's so dang late. Ooh, that is just nice, isn't it? I'll get a brush to get inside here. This is my favorite feature of this thing so far. I hope we run into some of that on the inside. It should be darker in that spot on the inside. It won't be a void though, unless we come through the side. Don't want to do that. Okay, so two coats of this, two coats of shellac. I'll bring you back 
and we'll turn it around and start working on the inside. And I'm looking forward to that. This is a beautiful piece of wood, Louie. Are you sorry you passed it on? <laughs> I'm not. Okay, see you, see you in a bit. Well, see you tomorrow. I gotta go watch On Patrol Live. I have the piece turned around with the chuck jaws expanded into the recess. We're gonna be turning at 1200 RPM. Freshly sharpened 5 8 inch bowl gouge, mask, and face shield on. I'm being cognizant of the uh, depression on the underside, remember where that defect is? I don't want to get too thin, but I'm nowhere near too thin. I just want to measure that inside inside the defect here. I'm trying to figure out which one's deeper. There's two of them there. Yeah, that's a, that's a quarter inch. That's good. Just about there. We're at about a half inch. Wanna be at about a quarter. And that's going to be close enough. I'm sure that's a quarter by now. It is. I'm going to put a fresh burr on my scraper. Not this one, I grabbed the wrong one. And we'll scrape. Nice. Beautiful grain too. Time for sanding. I'm going to start the sanding at 80 grit with my 2 inch disc. I'll have the lathe spinning forward at 350 and then I'll do reverse as well. And I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I get my mask on. And then reverse, drill in reverse. Easy peasy. I'm going to go ahead and put the sealer and shellac on the inside. You saw me do it on the outside. I'll bring you back and we'll take a look at this thing. Be sure you stick around at the end of the video so you can see the before and after shots of this piece. If you'd share the video, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, here it is. One black cherry live edge bowl in the books. And it's absolutely flawless. It's just perfect. Even the finish. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Louie really picked out a nice piece for us. 
And when I say flawless, I probably referred to that as a flaw. Well, it's not, of course. It's just nature at work. That's right where the crotch was. Still is. Still there. And you can see where it is here, the crotch, the darker wood. And then you see it right in the same spot on the inside, right here. And that makes this piece extra special. It's already quite nice, but that's just, that's just something extra for us. There's the bottom all finished up. It's just, it's just a beautiful piece of wood. And I'm so grateful to have it. And it, uh, I said it was going to be two and a half inches tall. I, let me measure it real quick. It's three inches tall, so I didn't lose that much. It was, what did I say? It was three inches on one end and four inches on the other before. It's seven and a half. It was eight. So it's, it's really hardly any smaller than it was to start with. And it's beautiful. I hope you like it as much as I do. I just, I just love it, and it feels so good. And this is a little something extra to run your fingers over. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, Louie, for sending this along for all to enjoy. If you like this video, thumbs up, please. I'd sure appreciate it. If you're a subscriber, thank you very kindly. I truly appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber, you might consider becoming one. I put out regular videos about one a week, and I'd like to keep in touch. An easy way to subscribe is just click my picture you see there near the end of the video. Your comments are always welcome and I love reading them. So for now, this is Phil, Shady Acres Woodshop, signing off.